Now we will see how we can add visuals from app source. So that is the place where you, there will be a lot of visuals are available and from there we can add more visuals into our report. Now let me open my previous report. So you will see here this is the same report that we were working in the last video. And on this basically if you will see I will add one more page here. And on this page uh, let's add one uh, probably we can take uh, this pie chart. And what we will do here is I will uh, add the customer name and then we will take the total cost here. So you can see here this is how it is appearing. Let me just make it little bigger. Yeah. So you can see here this is how it is appearing now. So what we can do is so if you remember in the slicer we saw how we can add slicers. But now what I will do here is I will go to in short and then more visuals and then you can see here from app source. If you click on that there are a lot of uh, visuals are available in the marketplace. So from there you can add into your uh, report. So if you will see here uh, you can see here there is a hierarchy slicer. So that means you can create slicers uh, um, um, where, you, where there will be hierarchy. There is lot of uh, uh, slicers are available which you can actually take. So you can see there is filters, infographics, so various categories are there from there you can take. So I will go to all and then I will add simply a hierarchy slice, slicer and click on add. So once you click on add uh, this will take some time and then you can see here it is saying that the import of this custom visual is done to your report. So just click on OK. And then actually you can see this here. So this is, uh, you know, the down you can see it here. You can actually right click and pin to, uh, you know, visual dashboard uh, visualization. So you can see here now it is, it came over here. That means we can use now in this uh, dashboard or in this page. So I will click on this and you can see here now it is coming like this. So you can see here and on this basically we will add the fields. So for example, I will, uh, we will add the customer name here. So that's the reason you can see here customer names are coming like this. So I'll, I can select a, a customer and then uh, you can see the values how it is appearing. Apart from that, what we can do is we can add more columns or fields into this. For example, let's say I'll add city here. So if you'll actually scroll down city over there, you can see here there's an expand option is coming also. So for you can see here for uh, whatever the customer for that location it is available. It is showing over here. You can see here for SS tech there will be two locations or two cities. That's the reason it is coming both the things. So you can see here I'll, I can select this. Uh, I can select and I can uh, have multiple cities also. You can see it here. So you can see this one. So that means you can see a hierarchical uh, you know filter options over here in this uh, particular uh, um, uh, particular slicer so not only uh, this two if you'll see here now we have hierarchically a uh, customer name and the uh, city i can also add multiple so for example here i will take the vendor title and i will add here below to the city so now if you can see here it is coming first one is the customer then the city and if you actually see inside that there is uh, 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 Chennai you can see here HP Microsoft is there so you can select it and uh, then you can see this is how it is appearing so uh, you can um, uh, you can have multiple hierarchy also so which you can use it here so I'll just close it so you can see here now three are there so this is how it will appear so this way you can um, add into uh, add from the app source and then you can use it. So there are a number of other visualizations are there also which you can use and you can try it out, out here. But if you want to use uh, um, you know hierarchy option so normal whatever the slicer we have that will not give you that option but this option will this uh, this uh, visualization hierarchy slicer will actually provide you with the option where you can uh, um, you can have the data from uh, from uh, or you can have the filters from multiple columns uh, in this hierarchy.